Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back man. <laughs> Great to be back with another video guys. It's been, it's been such a crazy week at work um, this week and um, yo, my time was just so limited with meetings and um, deadlines and stuff I had to do. So um, yeah, it was just crazy to um, think that I, <laughs> I didn't even have time to make some videos. That night I was so tired, <laughs> you know. But anyway guys, uh, <laughs> Some great news, man. Um, I've been having so much requests for converting maps from FS19 to FS22. And I have made some videos on it uh, with two ways of doing it. But there still, um, there, there's been still some gray areas and things that I myself haven't figured out and sorted out. But I think at this point, I'm, I'm sort of more confident in uh, what, what needs to happen and uh, how to actually get the best result from converting. And um, I've decided to convert the Ravenport map from FS19 over to FS22 as a series. So, um, so yeah, if, you, if, you, if, if you're interested in map making and uh, how to convert an FS19 map from F, uh, FS19 to 22, then let's get stuck in together guys <laughs> and follow me in this series and and we're gonna take a look at all the pitfalls and all the stuff together so that we can uh, yeah uh, have an example of how to do it and then if, if there's a map that you would like to convert from FS19 one of your favorite maps then you can uh, know how to do it yourself great guys so let us get stuck in with that Great, if this is your first time on my channel, a warm welcome to you and um, it's great here in my channel. So we do lots of interesting stuff um, and together we have good laughs about stupid things and <laughs> and we learn together, you know. So because uh, I'm, I'm like, my motto in life is never too old to learn, you know. So there you go. <laughs> great guys, so a warm welcome. Please do uh, hit that subscribe now while we're on the topic and um, just do it now click it and stick with us man yeah on this uh, small little channel we we're a good bunch of guys and and uh, we 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 stick together and and we and we have a good laugh now and then and we we learn together that's the that's the good way to put it <laughs> great stuff good so i'm having a look at the the ravenport map uh, so we're just going uh, just going through all the directories just to have a look what's what you know just to familiarize myself again with if it's 19 because my whole mindset obviously now has switched to 22 <laughs> trying to figure out 22 but yes we, we're getting there guys we're getting there good so i'm gonna first of all uh, um just open the map and uh, let me just open that there it's in the map us so i am at maps uh map de map us yes the directories are different They've got it all here in one one directory, both maps in one directory in, in FS19, where in FS22, each map is in its own directory. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Great. Okay, yeah, first thing to do is just open your FS19 map in Editor 8.22 and verify, obviously, that there's no errors. Um, you don't want to even start bothering with a map that's got errors in it. And then I would suggest also to, to open the map in the game and see that there's no errors in the log of the game as well. So to see that, if you open the, um, obviously the map in the game, and then you go to Farming Simulator 2019 directory, under your My Documents, uh, My Games, FS19, uh, you'll find where your mods directory is. You also see at the bottom there's a log file, so you can open that log, it's a text document, and run through this if there's any errors in here it will say error um, a warning you can still um, maybe forget uh, but even look at the warnings as well you'll see um, if there's any errors on it then I have to first repair that before you even start worrying about converting the map good because otherwise you you you're just transferring a problem and the problem gets worse in FS22 because <laughs> believe me <laughs> It just amplifies it, you know. So, okay. There we are. Now we are back in FS19. Uh, Our map doesn't have any errors, obviously, because it's the base game. Um, so, the first thing to do is go File. Uh, new mod from game. Uh, save changes. Uh, save changes. Nope. 
like I said, you don't have to open the map to 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 uh, to export it or to. Uh, but this is only for the two in-game maps in FS19, so you can't do it with your map. Uh, so this process, or, or th at this point, I'm just wanting to get. Um, let me just quickly think. This is map num map map number two is the US one, so we're going to select that one. You see, it says map US I3D. And that is Ravenport. So let's create a directory for us where we want to have it exported to. I'm going to go mods uh, in my FS22 and create a new folder called Ravenport. Now this at this this steps you obviously don't have to do if uh, if you don't want to use one of the giants maps. If you want to do a mod uh, uh, a map that's already out there in a mod form um, for FS19 then you just download that unzip it into a folder in your FS19 uh, uh, directory but mind you some of the maps that's that's been created it's no point unzipping them just test it but you're gonna have to unzip it obviously to to work in the editor with it so yeah then you can just follow all the stuff that I'm doing now uh, well the stuff that I'm doing now is is just to get the the US map out of Giants into a mod folder so that we can work with it. All right, so because at the moment it's integrated in the whole game, yeah, uh, the setup in FS19, you know, so so we can't really work with it f in FS22 yet. Good, I hope it makes sense, guys. So, so what we're gonna do, I've got Ravenport in there and select the folder. So, there we go, and I'm gonna just click OK. Working directory already exists. Override directory. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't have a working directory called Ravenport. What's this thing? What's this thing on about? My mods folder. There is a, a Ravenport. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Obviously, it it obviously just saw that I've made a directory there. Good. And then you sit back and relax, and there you go. Now our map is in there, and we can work with it. So I'm going to close this now, go into our mods folder, and then there's our exported map. Good. So we're going to work with this one. Now, obviously, this one uh, might have some, some issues um, opening, because normally there's stuff that the guys forgot to do in the export. Um, just quickly running through. So basically the idea is just to make sure the map works. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to check that everything works in it, in game as well. And then we'll carry on with the export. Well guys, I just want to tickle my laughing bone, you know. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I'm going to give uh, the, the Giants uh, exporter a go on their own map and see how many errors it gives just for fun. And uh, in that way you can also... Um, witness and see if it works or not you know and also just see how it works um, how to do it so what we're going to do obviously is um, go into fs the, the the new giants editor where is my giants editor icon there it is so if you open that uh, should open editor 9.0.2 at the moment that's our our editor and then we're going to go file and we're going to go uh new mod uh, open mod sorry open mod and we are going to go into desktop my desktop because i've put the map on there then you're going to open the raven port or the map that you want to export from fs19 to fs22 and you're going to find the mod disk there it is you open the mod disk that's going to tell you oh it found mod files from the old farming simulator upgrade files automatically using the useless cloud service that doesn't have any templates for anything in FS22. All right, so the old game uh, working directory, uh, desktop, Raven converted, and the old game install directory, don't change this. It needs to point to the FS19 directory. Um, if this directory by you is wrong, do change it to the right installation directory, but by normal, it should be fine. Um, there shouldn't be anything need to change. Just click OK, and there you go. Now it's now it's apparently converting the mod. <laughs> I've tried this many times with FS19 maps. It doesn't work, guys. It's giving so much errors and problems that it's it's pointless doing it. And um, it doesn't even convert your weight files. It does just a useless job. Now, here we go. 
have a look at this um, this is our report file can I not make this thing bigger okay you see uh, default items their own this is their own stuff guys the default items I mean it is supposed to be converted into uh, placeables no template found XML copied without change there you go I mean what does that help anyone because the default items is the most important XML in the whole game uh, uh, together with the map US XML that's your map XML they don't even have a template on their own stuff to convert it so uh, there are already three big problems now you're gonna have to manually do these um, and then they've got foliage foliage canola so they brought the XMLs over to for the foliage default vehicles no template found farmlands no template found farmlands your game can't run without farmlands if 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 the old fs19 farmlands are in there pointless mod disk it has converted the mod disk wow we have to give them big praise for that <laughs> why not convert the rest guys it's i mean common sense all right so um actually guys it really doesn't look bad it's just a few xmls that that hasn't been um converted but believe me try this on a normal uh map in game from that someone else has made and you will have tears crocodile tears because it's just not going to work all right so i'm just going to go sample mod with two item i'm just going to go okay so let's have a look. It's supposed to open the map now here in in Giants Edit the 902. Now this process, like I say, I haven't found it working on normal maps. I'll be I'll be my jaw it will be jaw dropping if it does work with their own map, you know. Because <laughs> that's probably where they tested it. Um to convert it over. And there you are. Now apparently um this is now a working map in in uh, Giants Editor 902 and I'm gonna just quickly open my console and see how much if there is any errors that's always a good thing to do uh, the textures yeah you see building shader so the building shader text XML needs to be um, upgraded then we've got problems in materials uh, you can already see there is some white stuff that is big issues with shaders um, old shape files is fine the moment you save your map it should upgrade all the shape files uh, old shape file error deco foliage the deco foliage is a big problem because uh, the, the foliages are different and the channels are different from FS19 to FS22 so that's your uh, big issue I had with uh, FS19 um, to 22 upgrade or, or conversion is the foliages because it just they they just didn't bother redirecting the channels correctly so you get you get uh, instead of grass you get for instance um, corn growing where grass was in FS19 you know so it's this crazy stuff okay so the deco foliages we know it's going to be a problem uh, not enough channels to store uh, what 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 it actually guys the list isn't that long um, in in this convert but for for peace of mind's sake I will just just uh, um, you'll see there the grass immediately you can see the grass is totally different channel and um, yeah all the grass and stuff it, it actually doesn't look too bad um, to bring it over because it does does save you a lot of uh, um, export and import stuff you know but anyway now we have a uh, an idea of how to do it I'll, I'll play around with this uh, in the background and fiddle a bit because it does um, it does look much better than um, oh but oh, there is the problem guys you see the shining um, the shining things uh, what do you call it on 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 the hills that's a shader problem 
that I just couldn't figure out. I forgot about that actually. That's what uh, that what that is what caused me to to just chuck this process and do it the right way and just do the, the map export and import. You see there, look at this glare thing. That's because of the shaders and stuff that you can't and 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 boy oh boy, there's no way to fix that. I haven't seen a way to fix that. So I'm just going to save this just for, for 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 the laugh of it great guys so i've just uh, saved the map and reopened it in um editor 902 um just to show you that um, the game will automatically if you have a problem with the shapes file saying old shape files it will update all the shape files for you when you save it and now um just want to see the ground shader so under uh Failed to open XML file. You think? FS22. So it it actually texture streaming for building shader. So it actually tries to open the the ground shader from FS19 in the FS22 directory. You see, because it says failed to open, because it means it couldn't find it. <laughs> But there isn't a ground. I don't think there is a ground shader for uh, for FS22 because the ground in FS22 now has different ground types. Because uh, you've got the cultivated soil and the ploughed soil, they've split it, the whole ground thing into different layers. And now um, this, th there's no ground shader. I'm sure. Let's have a look at um, if we can uh, find something there. Uh, converted Ravenport. Let's quickly go FS22. Search here. Ground shader. You'll see. The, I don't think there is a ground shader in FS22. Ground shader dot XM. XM should be fine. Yeah, I know there isn't. So what you what we need to do then is go into FS22. There's a SDK uh, f for maps. Let's have a look. Map US. No, that is for for development for the new one. So data FS19 support shaders. Just see if they've got a ground shader in here. Ground height. Yeah, you see that was the problem. I remember they didn't they didn't build a ground shader for for um, bringing that over to FS22. And I think that is probably why you've got this glary soil. So there's no point in even bothering with that converter for of them. So there you have it, guys. Um, though a, a lot of the work now has been done because they have, uh, I've seen Ravenport converted. Where is it? Ravenport converted. Here we go. It's going to put it here next to its brother. So Ravenport converted now. Th what they have done, they have done uh, is that bring, it looks like they have converted all the white files. So that saves us a lot of trouble. Um, if you look at the if you look at the size I'm just gonna hover over it look at the size of it it says 2048 by 2048 um, so it does look that like they have converted the weight files at least this round of their own map but if you do it on a on a on a on a different map I've found that they don't convert the weight files they just bring them copy them over and then there's big problems with them but anyways okay so so we need a blank map guys for fs22 on this side on the right side i want a blank map and on this side we want the, the fs19 map so we're going to um grab as a blank map so i think for for now let us not work with the um the fs converted one we're going to use the ravenport one the the actual FS9 P map because that will help for the tutorial or the or the video, you know, for you guys. Good. So let me make a blank map and then if you're interested, just search under my videos making a blank map for FS22. You'll find my video there if you want to follow. I'm not going to carry or waste video time on the same process again, but I have made a video on that. So there we go. Okay, guys, the first thing I want to do is just to select a map with the correct um, sort of um, background or the distant stuff, you know, because the Alpine map has got very high hills um, and 
the fringe map has got lower hills and obviously the the um the elm creek map has got almost flattish terrain so you want to select uh select the map with with the least um hassles for your new uh conversion you know and then another tip guys when you open an r3d just because because you're going to work out of two editors now r right click select open with um you can you can choose Giants editor 22 there but then when it pops up here you select the correct one because um if you work in the the fs22 map you're going to need 902 and obviously uh if you work in your old map the fs90 map you're going to need 8.22 so do select the right one otherwise you're going to just have crashes all the time and it doesn't open so just just a tip there guys <laughs> to make sure that you're in the right thing okay guys so what i've done obviously now i've exported the the french map um into the map folder mods uh, ravenport and uh, yeah, there you'll see the french map map fr is in there um and we're going to use this as a template for um for uh, our new map good so the first thing we want to do is get rid of um, a lot of the stuff gameplay fields needs to go we're not going to use this field setup uh, vehicle shop can stay map boundaries can stay splines you can chuck all the splines because obviously um, pedestrian the AI I'm gonna leave the pedestrian system I'm gonna keep the traffic system I'm gonna chuck uh, leave the AI uh, it's nothing really in the AI so we can just keep that doesn't matter right southern France locations so now we're gonna go just through every directory and um, lose the stuff we we don't want and keep the stuff we we want to bring over into the new map but mind you we we're going to bring everything over from the Ravenport map so um, might as well just chuck the lot because all everything in here farm shop let's have a look at farm shop this is just buildings guys let's go close there country building there you go that's the farm shop there's no there's no cell points or anything in this um, so we can just delete everything that we don't want so I'm going to work through this and see what I want if, if there's anything that I, I'm of interest and then if not I'm just gonna delete a lot like for roads also um, yeah, it's best to start start with a blank canvas guys because otherwise you're gonna have stuff standing in the wrong spot and <laughs> go crazy <laughs> make make work for yourself good so let's just chuck the lot uh and the locations i'm gonna leave the directory because we're gonna probably reuse it uh, and then just delete the, the the all the stuff out of the editor right guys you'll see off basically emptied the whole map so we've got a blank uh, canvas and obviously you can see that there is still a lot of stuff left over from <laughs> from the from the fs22 map um, so what we want to do now is just level the terrain um, mind you we don't have to worry about the level don't worry about leveling the terrain uh, what we want to do is just get rid of the foliage uh, so first of all set your radius at it's a two times map so one two hundred should be fine and then make it square there you go like that and we're going into foliage select grass on it grass should be all right and make sure your right button is uh, toggled to subtract and then just right click in the center of the map make sure that the outskirts is all um over the whole area of the map and there you go all the grass should be removed and that also um also removes all the other foliages like flowers and everything is now as you can see empty no foliages <laughs> even crops it will remove crops as well good so that's all the foliages now we're going to get rid of all the fields uh that has been laid out to do that we're going to go into terrain detail and 
center again right click to remove terrain detail with nothing selected it should remove the field layouts like so and then um, the ground type we need to just set, set the ground type to um, anything to reset all the weights uh, texture layer let's go to uh, don't have ground where is the ground dirt dark just dirt let's go to dirt and select our yeah texture layer paint mode and we go into the center of the map again this is what happens when the map isn't level you know <laughs> you get <laughs> this kind of stuff happening so just uh, um, uh, this time not right click we want to paint so get it over the center the best the best to do is probably just fly to the center of the map and zoom out so you can see the whole map like so and then uh, you'll get a better better picture of like so there you go there we go now all the field layout is gone we've got a blank canvas to work with and i'm going to save here just to make sure that i don't lose all my work like so because if it crashes you lose all your work all right so now the first thing we want to do is close this map okay save changes we've just saved but let's just uh, um, give it what it wants um, I'm going to leave this one open but what we want to do is go into the FS19 directory of our Ravenport map or of your map and we're going to find under your weight file folder just find the place where all your weights are stored we want to find the the, um, the one that says map usdmg.png okay. okay guys so the next thing to do is grab our map them from the fs19 map um, drop it into the same folder where your weight files is in your new map great maps data what is this now forming simulator why am i in this map common oh my gosh i hope i haven't made any changes there <laughs> mod Ravenport this is our, our old one um, mods Ravenport maps FR there we go data in here is our new weight you see most of them is blank except for the layer that we've added uh, was that dirt it's now fully used alright but anyways we want to just copy this over into our directory where the new map is and then you'll see you end up with two so what we're going to do is we're going to rename the old one into the new one so we're going to take the new one's name like so Control c copy the name click on the file press delete get rid of it and then just overwrite it here Control v and there you go this believe it or not is all you need to do to bring the whole ground layout and everything in the map regarding the, the the soil height or the ground height is now oh my gosh remember to open and right click open with giants editor 902 now <laughs> so you have to remind giants about their own i3ds which opens with what <laughs> oh my word otherwise you, you, you happens what uh, what happened with me now it just crashes if you just double click it so don't double click it guys all right so there you are this now is the Ravenport ground layout all done for you great doesn't look bad at all I like right guys so our next thing we want to do is to bring over the weight files so that we can have all the different soil types and ground layers or whatever you want to call these things um, it's called uh, texture layer painting all the textures you want for the for the ground types uh, you want to bring over from the fs19 map into fs22 in order to do that you need to go here into your texture layer in the fs22 map and have a look at what is in here and then go back into the fs19 map and the same thing you go in here 
and have a look at these you'll see the, the list is there's a lot of them that are different now the ones that you want to bring over you need to import into the new map now I've made a whole video on that I'm not going to uh, obviously go through the whole process again to show you how to do that uh, so just watch the video it is um, it is called I can actually show you where it is let me just open my if I can just get my Firefox please <laughs> screen's crazy go into my channel um, and then you will find under my videos if you go into my videos you see there's a um, there's a thing uh, a video called adding more ground textures a much easier way so the the video's name is um, adding more ground textures to FS22 and much easier way so watch that video and um, it will show you how to add them f directly here f in 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 the editor so you just import them basically from FS22 or uh, from FS19 so that you have the same ground textures here as in FS19 because otherwise you're going to have a problem with the weight files because the weight files is going to have to be renamed and you're going to have to find weights that's not there so uh, the list needs to be the same so I'm going to do that and then let's get back in uh, guys just to save you some time um, in the FS19 map for instance um, if you go into the list the list is long here so it, it doesn't mean you have to bring everything over so the, the easiest will be go into the map directory of your FS19 map let me just see where it is here it is open the weight files and then have a look at the weights that's in here and bring over only the ones that has got stuff in it like like grass 01 weight if I open that I don't think it doesn't look like there's anything in it if there's anything white in it you can bring it over so it will save you a bit of time so just bring like yes there's asphalt 01 needs to come over cliff rock needs to come over um, grass dry you know all the ones with stuff in it needs to come over even that one has got something in there granite yellow um, so those ones that you see has got stuff in it and uh, and you will find that this amount in here is not everything that's in the editor so don't worry about the editor rather come here make a list of all the names that you want to bring over so that you can go into the FS22 map and just import all that ground types so once you've got all of that in um, you are ready to copy or, or bring the weights over great guys so what we'll do basically is um, look at asphalt 01 for instance um, that's just go alphabetically guys it will be easier F asphalt 01 so go into your FS22 map find the texture layer and see that it has got an asphalt and if you go down here you should find uh, um, asphalt 01 where is it this is there we go asphalt 01 so it has got an asphalt so we don't w worry about that one um, so the next one to do is uh, cliff rock 01 cliff rock you just want to bring the ones that's not there so cliff rock cliff rock cliff rock dirt grass cobblestone cliff rock I don't have a cliff rock so I definitely have to bring over cliff rock so that's the easiest way to do it go alphabetically through the list and bring them all bring all the um, ground textures over into into your new map good okay guys I thought I'll I'll just do one with you and then we, we can work work out the one together and it should all be well so basically what you want to do is on the left click on terrain and this is in the FS22 map now the new Raven port or the new map that you're working with you click on terrain on the right at attributes if your attributes isn't open go window and select attributes there and then go to terrain and you'll see here at the bottom I'm just going to close the material editing there's a layer manager just click on the three dots make this thing big so you can see right up to the end and this is your layers guys this is your ground textures so now you're going to go add layer 
and you're going to find the the weight weight uh, weight map file. But before you can do this, I actually forgot now. You need four blank weight files. So go into your map. Luckily, we have already got um, a lot of uh, weight files. I'm just thinking now. Let's do them one at a time. How are we going to do this now? Because if you haven't converted your weight files yet, or if your if your weights weren't, weren't converted, you can't uh, use the weights from FS19. You have to convert them first. Okay, guys. The best is to to um, first get a template set of weight files. So you're going to need four blank weights that doesn't have anything in it. Now, luckily, in your uh, map directory under data, you can select any one, any set of four that is blank. To make sure it's blank, just open it up in um, in uh, um, note or paint.net, sorry, and see that there's no white stuff in it. Must be perfectly black, and then close it up. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take this four concretes, uh, concretes. I'm going to copy them, copy them, and just put them on my desktop. My desktop. Let me just make a new folder for them because um, then I know where they are. Blank temps, blank weights, blank weights. All right. Now keep in mind, guys, um, if you are using a different size map, this is a two times map that we're converting into a two times map. Uh, but if you're using a different size map, you cannot use um you you're gonna have to um use the four times for instance if you're using a four times map you're gonna have to use the four times weights like i've done now but if you're converting from a two times map to a four times map you're gonna have to convert the weights first make them bigger um before you can import them okay and that you do with the gimp file i've actually got a video on that as well how to convert the weight file so there is a video on that uh, have a look at that it shows you exactly how to make them bigger and and uh, have them ready for fs22 there's only one way to do it guys follow that video and you'll be fine great okay and now we can re rename these into the texture that we want to um to work with uh which is i think it was called what was it called now back into the us directory it's cliff rock so what we want to do is take the names here, Cliff Rock, Control C, go back into your FS uh, or your file where I've got it now, blank weights, overwrite the first one's name, Control V, like so, and go into the next one. Actually, I can just rename, oh, not open them. This mouse of mine button is uh, messed up control V O2 so we just make the 2 or 3 and then that one O4 no control V O4 and then you've got the four weights all right so now what we're going to do is going to copy this control C and drop them in our FS22 map directory now, uh, which will be map us giants editor. Where's my FS22 map directory gone to now? Raven port maps map fr data. So we're going to drop them in here into the new directory, and then we have the weights now. So you copy them because next the next set of weights you can just use that for rename them again copy them over so that way you have got a set of blank weights that you can add great so now back into the editor open weight file remember now uh, we clicked on add layer all right so we're going to go into the new map now and you're going to select that first one uh, of um, of the four that we've brought in which was called cliff rock was it uh, make sure of the name cliff rock yes cliff rock so we're looking for cliff rock now it should be in here somewhere cliff rock there it is all right so we're going to select that one open the weight 
and it should drop us a new one at the bottom of the weight files there you go all right so this is our new um, layer so in here now we're going to first name it and you're going to name it the same so I'm just going to go control V oh I cannot paste in here I should be able to paste I think I've lost my my uh, my copy or my what do you call it your stuff on the on on the clipboard there you go cliff cliff rock just make sure of um, just open this thing a bit wider so I can cliff rock wait you you don't want to um, have the weight in there I'm going to just rename it so it just says cliff rock like so and enter and there you go cliff rock sounds much better and then um, it needs to be cliff rock 01 sorry guys because we're going to bring in four of them zero one like so right that's better cliff rock zero one is the name of it so cliff rock zero one yeah just lose the weight dot png good the next thing we want to uh, sorry man the next thing is the diffuse map right guys so what we're going to do is go into um the fs19 directory um don't believe go into fs19 directory go to data um maps textures terrain here we go all right so it is data maps textures terrain now you're going to look for cliff rock find cliff rock zero one uh, or just cliff rock uh, zero one cliff rock cliff rock cliff rock oh two cliff rock zero one so you're going to copy all the the diffusers and normals of um cliff rock i'm gonna go you can actually probably just copy the whole lot over but there's so many of them you're not going to bring everything so rather just work with the ones you need to bring over all right so cliff rock control and then we're going to go to cliff rock four uh, which is that one there is the last there should be eight two four six eight of them copy back into your map the new map and then we're going to go maps just want to see steam yeah you see this is now in the installation directory but i want to bring this over into my map so i'll go gonna go map and then new folder uh, textures create the textures for it and then create a folder called terrain new folder called terrain just in case we need to um, put something else in the textures folder we we re rename it like so okay so these are cliff rock diffusers and normals and now you just point this this directory here if you click on it it will open this for you you go in here and you go find uh, yeah guys you have to keep track with these things wow oh, wait I've got I've made the directory in the wrong in the wrong uh, um, wrong uh, map <laughs> I've created it on the, on the on the old Ravenport map so now I'm on the new one under my mods folder and I've got maps textures terrain in there and there they are all right so now we can hopefully find them <laughs> all right so so we click um obviously there ravenport maps and then textures terrain and find our first one it is map 01 or cliff rock 01 diffuse all right so open that and click ok so that's our diffuse selected and now on the normal map we just do the same same directory uh, make sure it is the right one textures terrain diffuse that's our normal for zero one and there it is all selected 
a white map a white map should already be um, already be in there because that's the way white we've uh, created and copied so these I can just make smaller we actually don't need them that big all right guys to get to get the rest of the stuff uh, correct um, like the unit size and the unit offset and the blend contrast and the color and the softness to dirt and all that stuff um, I've opened the converted map um, that Giants has converted from FS19 to FS22 the one that doesn't work <laughs> and, and now I can do the same and just see here at Cliff Rock 01 what the values need to be. So unit size must be 10. So it's 10, 0, 0, 0 0.5. So I'm going to bring that over into my new map, which is, uh, where is it now? I think it's this one here. Here we go. So, so it's 10 here. 10 like that. And 0, 0, and then 0 0.5. 0 0.5 enter and then the next thing is our color so we're going to go back into this one cliff rock 01 get the color now i've tried to copy this guys uh, in the past i don't know if we can do it i've tried to copy the three numbers but it's difficult to do it so what you need to do is just click on the color and it will open the choose color window and then you need to just take this three numbers of the red green and blue over into into your new line here so i'm just going to open that this side back in this one it's 0 0.392 0 0.287 okay 0 0.392 0 0.287 so it's 0 0.392 tap 0 uh, 0.297 and then a tab so it's 392.287 not 297 my word 287 and then the third one is 0 0.147 alright so 0 0.147 and then you click OK and bloop, it should be in there perfectly fine. Softness, material, okay, softness is zero. And on this one, cancel there. Cliff Rock, just make sure, click on Cliff Rock so we have the line here. So it's zero, dirt, and four for the next three. So at zero, here we have to go to dirt, select dirt, and this one was four and enter back here 4.0 and then the rest is perfectly fine so we should go back in here all right that should all be right and now all you need to do now is click on add another layer like so and it's going to ask you for the next weight file so now you have to copy uh, another set of weights oh mind you the weights is already there so you can just go into uh, mods 22 mods ravenport maps uh, map fr data and then it's cliff rock 02 cliff rock 02 where's my cliff rock dirt concrete rock why don't I see it here now oh, there it is how oh, my wet <laughs> cliff rock o2 <laughs> okay and there you go and now it's rinse and repeat guys rename so you just copy this one control C put it in there rename to zero two like so and it's rinse and repeat guys and then at the end if there's a multi-layer, obviously, you want to combine the four layers um, in here. You said add combined layer um, and just make sure from the other map, your original map, 
the FS19 map, if there is a multi-layer, if there is a multi or a combined layer, add it here as well, and then you are all a for away. It's a long process, guys, but that's what it takes to convert a map. So you're going to have to add all your ground textures here into the new map, and then once you've done all, we can um, bring the weight files over for the correct amount of weight or, or amount of te textures. Okay. Right, so when you're done, all four guys, um, and if there is a combined layer, you added the combined layer, but for in this case of mine, there is no combined layer. You click apply and uh, just say uh, yes there by the question about losing stuff. And then if you go down into your texture layers now, you will find your new layer should be at the bottom, um, Cliff Rock. There they are, all four of them. And in the next video, we will have a look at bringing the weight in for Cliff Rock. Good. So now we have got Cliff Rock in the editor, but obviously the weight of the old map is still not there. So it doesn't know where the Cliff Rock is. <laughs> but it is there in the map editor so long to, to paint. Great, guys. So I'm going to end the video here for today. Um, that's enough homework for, for you to do up to the next video. <laughs> and then we'll chat again on the next one. Great guys, thank you so so much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. A big thank you to my supporters as well. Bless you guys. I really appreciate that guys. Um, have a wonderful wonderful day. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.